everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains uh, in this video we're going to discuss a new feature of ES6 that's called uh, for off loops so what is for off loop is, is a new is a new way of uh, looping an array from a JavaScript okay so we have actually a foreign loop for off loop and we have normal for loop and uh, we have fil uh, filter function and we have for each method I mean function we have so there are multiple ways we can loop an array and uh, for off loop is one of the important uh, feature which is given from ES6 version so let's see what is that okay in this video uh, so here I just comment all this uh, what you have done till now comment all this yeah so let's take for off loops okay so for off loops uh, we need to have an array actually so what I do is I just grab the array from our uh, array's concept so if you go to the file number 8 I have it so let me grab that so instead of creating again I'll just grab the whole employees array and then I'm gonna paste here yes so now I have an employees array uh, I want to loop it first let's see the normal for loop so what is normal for loop is you write the uh, for i equal 0 i less than 10 and all this right uh, was a was a logic uh, what actually you wanted is um, I want to print only the employee names in the array of each object I just want to print only the employee names okay so how to filter I mean how to loop it we have a normal for loop so let's see what is that so let's um, result is equal to an empty string uh, generally how you write is let um, i is equal to 0 and uh, i less than or equal to employees dot length uh, you write less than length man less than length or less than or equal to length minus one okay because last index is length minus one and then uh, i plus plus so here this i indicates the index of each object right so let's say um, let employee how we get the each employee object is uh, employees of i you get the each employee object and what I want to print only the name so just attach the name to the results I just write the employee object dot name and some space or do one thing dot to uppercase you can convert that to uppercase and then finally you just write um, console console dot log of results okay so this is actually a normal for loop so get only the employee names in uppercase from an employee array so you get the answer as oh that's actually I made a mistake I have to keep that outside okay so you get John Wilson Rajan Laura and David so you got all the employees in uppercase fine now write a same logic using another way that's called foreign loop so foreign loop actually up to es5 version for off is from es6 so let's say same thing for in loop so how we write foreign loop is let's result i just uh, not let again result is empty foreign loop for um let's index in uh, employees so this is the shortcut uh, than uh, normal for loop uh, here let's index in so this is actually a call for in loop so here you write uh, logic is let's employee is equal to employees of index we're gonna pass it and then uh, the result uh, is same again like this and you're gonna say console dot log of uh, result okay so let's check you get the same answer now see here uh, what is foreign loop is for every iteration of uh, uh, employee or any array you get every time you get the index for every iteration you get the index that's called for in loop and opposite to for in is for off so what is for off is instead of for in you're gonna write a for off if you write for off what happens is instead of getting every time the index you get the direct value that's called for off so let's see what is that 
so this is up to ES5 okay so now let's see the for of loop of ES6 so for of loop of ES6 feature okay so let's keep the result as an empty now you write uh, for let uh, every time you get the value right so what's the value is a employee object so let's say directly employee of employees okay and here you can just directly write this one you don't need to write convert that index back to the object not required you can write directly because we have getting directly employee object for every iteration now uh, you can just say console dot log of results okay so now check you get the same answer so this is actually a year six feature for off loop and uh, if you know another way called uh, for each function yes you can do that for each you can do with for each function also that is also up to yes why i tell you uh, for each function how we write is um, um, employees dot for each here you will be having a function that give you each employee object and you can just assign that to the result but before that i just take a result as an empty string and then you can write console dot log of results so this is another way of uh, looping uh, your array so this is actually a function so that give you every time every iteration of uh, employees array you get the employee object just like this and you can use that how you want you get the again same answer so uh, before this we already discussed the arrow function so we can convert this whole thing like an arrow function so you can do that as well so for each with arrow function okay so this is up to this is from yes for six so let's keep the result is equal to empty so i'll just do one thing i just cut copy this paste it here only one small change i do is instead of this function keyword i delete i make an arrow so this is gonna be the arrow function and you can get rid of this because you have only single parameter so you can remove this parenthesis you get the answer is same so this is uh, for each function with an arrow feature okay so here i want to discuss actually uh, for off uh, uh, the way of looping ES6 and we also discuss uh, arrow function so this is another way so these many ways you can loop a normal an array okay so that's it i hope you understand this so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.